Chicken Genius Singapore now says to buy Tesla stock. As you can see, he tweeted just recently that Tesla is at levels you can start dollar cost averaging. Risk is $140. According to Chicken Genius, reward is $300. So it's starting to make sense. Favors and entry, don't go all in as my SPY target is still 320 which would still have quite a long way to go down according to Chicken Genius Singapore. Now, I personally, I don't call myself a genius, so I look at historical returns of S&P 500 and what would have happened if I just missed, let's say, the 10 best days, which is, by the way, all I owned before Tesla stock was just S&P 500. You missed 10 best trading days during this time frame from 1995 to 2014, your returns would have went from basically 10% to just 6%, 40% less, roughly. And if you miss top 20 best days, your return is close to inflation now. And another interesting thing is six of the best 10 days happened within two weeks of the 10 worst days and you'll see very similar trends no matter what time frame you pick and if you haven't been investing for many many decades you can even trick yourself into thinking that even if you miss some of the best days you will be fine but you live long enough and you invest long enough at least in this case, you are basically better off just giving money to the government in a form of a treasury note, in other, word, in other words, investing into bonds. And this is, in a nutshell, why I don't really bother timing the market. I think you can certainly, as you can see here from this chart, this is the biggest hedge fund in the world, uh, Bridgewater founded by Ray Dalio, who is a great investor. But you can see here, he was able to smoothen volatility, but the return in the end is exactly the same as S&P 500. So if you are closer to retirement, of course, then you would want to time try to do certain things to prevent volatility. But if you are far away from retirement, like for example, I am, I don't care about volatility. I just want to spend the least amount of time worrying about my investments so I can go build businesses, focus on that, make some YouTube videos also. We are going to get into what this means for Tesla stock in just a moment, but basically the trade-off is you spend all of your time trying to figure out exactly what to do with your investments, or you spend no time, you put money into something like S&P 500 or Tesla stock, I like Tesla stock a lot better, right now at least, and you just don't worry about it. You forget about it and you just let the market do its thing and you just wait and you just count the time in the market instead of timing the market but but even then you will find yourself multiple times perhaps where if you just put money into s p 500 or just a stock like tesla stock as an example not financial advice of course putting money into just one stock is risky right so I just don't, don't care about timing the market. I would much rather spend all that time figuring out, is this company really that good of a company? That's the only thing I care. Can I figure out, is this company going to be the one that's going to make it? And then as long as I think I'm not overpaying by a substantial amount, I'm in. Gary Black has updated his uh Tesla stock catalysts just a little bit so let's go through those quickly uh you'll be able to see that bitter overhang lifts hopefully this time actually in november we'll see about that fiscal year 23 eps revisions hopefully in uh, q4 new gigafactories i hope are, are we are going to have many more to come i think instead of a share of buyback, we should be building multiple factories is what I I want to do. FSD beta wide release, 
hopefully in the fourth quarter, which looks like that is actually going to happen. And anyone, at least according to what Elon Musk said on this last Tesla earnings call, everyone who buys FSD is going to have FSD uh, by the end of the year, basically immediately. So if you buy a car, let's say in December, you should have it immediately, hopefully. If that happens, uh, I think that is looking good for FSD because you don't want to release, do a wide beta release unless the technology you think is fairly safe. Now, Tesla does not share with us how many interventions there are, for example, per, let's say, 1,000 miles or per 100,000 miles. I would really like to see that number and how that number is changing. But just when I watch Postal Driving videos here on YouTube, I like what I see. I don't have my beta, unfortunately, yet. I'm blaming me being in Canada here in Vancouver for, for that. Our, the safety score is definitely high enough, and we definitely have enough miles. So I don't know what's going where. Uh, number five, of course, that remains safe. The EV credit comes into effect in Q1. There's too much demand already in North America. That is just going to take it to a whole new level. Number six, Tesla buyback. Um, Gary thinks it would be announced in Q1. I don't know about that. From what I heard Elon say on this last earnings call, I would guess, and this is just speculating, I would guess it would be more towards the second part of the year next year. And even then, maybe more towards even the end of the year, because Elon Musk is very concerned about the recession. Uh, coming soon. Number seven, Cybertruck launch. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully, hopefully I can get my Cybertruck. Number eight, thirty thousand dollar EV launch in mid uh, 2024. And Gary has a price target of five fifty next twelve to six months, which would be a doubling now from where we are at. And I just can't wait for this whole Twitter drama to be finally over. I'm really looking forward to that. Are you personally trying to time the market? I'm not. I just try to buy more when I see that the stock is for sale at a discount. And when I look at those all-time highs, I can see, you know, I don't think you can really time it, but you can definitely know if you're getting a good deal and with the stock being down a lot this year, I believe we are getting quite a deal here. So I'm trying to load up as much as I can. As a side note, just so we are all clear, I actually really like Chicken Genius. And if you look at his Twitter handle, he's funny. He is funny. He's funny. These are 48 reasons why I only own Tesla stock. My name is Matt Posius, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.